Another concern is that online players might unsportingly hog the puck in the offensive zone to artificially run up the pressure meter. When playing in World of Shells 3vs3 and 6v6 matchups, this hasn't been a widespread problem. A handful of attackers have skirted around the edge of the blue line, but the nefarious tactic is obvious and can be nullified with an aggressive defense, forcing them to maneuver the puck deeper into the offensive zone, thus presenting greater opportunity to steal the puck back. Speaking of World of Shell, this play mode of course returns in NHL 24 and for the most part, it's a carbon copy of previous iterations. There are a few innovations though, such as the new World of Shell store for players to spend their hard-earned coins on the gear that they want rather than relying on the randomness of hockey bag rewards. EA SHL playoff games have been introduced too, with EA Sports Hockey League teams needing to win best of seven rounds to progress just like the Stanley Cup Finals instead of the elimination format we've seen in previous years. The hope here is that every game has significance, meaning the grind for apparel and gear will be somewhat more enjoyable. It certainly spices up each game. NHL 24 also brings across the Battle Pass from other EA Sports titles, giving players more opportunity to chase those vanity items with absolute certainty. The first Battle Pass is free, too, although as things stand in the early days, every skater is wearing the same stuff when they hit the ice. My experiences so far has me lining up alongside players and teams that are closely matched, too. The only issue is that player stock is extremely low. Even with NHL 24's enhanced crossplay capability, it oftentimes took upwards of three minutes to find enough players to fill each team, if a team was even filled at all before the matchmaking timed out. For the most part though, online connections are smooth, with only minor moments of lag occurring, although there are strange blocky blue squares that would momentarily glitch onto center ice during some 3v3 matches on my PS5, but to be honest those were only a minor distraction. Be a Pro and Franchise Mode return in NHL 24 too, but for all intents and purposes, these are exactly the same as previous versions, even down to the script and character animations. In my review for NHL 23, I spoke of EA Sports needing to refresh some of NHL's game modes.